In the post-coronavirus world, foreign policy and foreign trade decisions have become a matter of dilemma for countries around the world. A cold war has broken out between China and the United States, and the Donald Trump-led US has left very few options for the world's nations. The United States has now made it clear to the United Kingdom, either you are with us or against us in this polarizing world. As per a report by The Guardian, in the ongoing talks of a free trade deal between the UK and the US, the US government has told the UK that the island nation has to make a choice. The United States' primary objective is to shun Huawei, the Chinese company which has been given a contract to roll out the UK's 5G network infrastructure. The US government has alleged that Huawei was snooping on US military secrets and supplying it to the Chinese military, and now Trump administration is pushing every country to shut the door to the Chinese technology giant. A British finance official said, The US government seems to want to use the pandemic to cut off China from the global economy to onshore manufacturing and redesign the global economy to reprioritize around security while saying you can't have China as part of the system because of how they behave. The official added, is this electioneering rhetoric or is it potentially much more dangerous, a desire to have a different global economy where China isn't part of the system? The US-UK free trade deal could be announced before the US presidential election in November 2020 so that Trump could use it to set the economic agenda for elections. The Trump administration is using a clause called Article 30, previously used in the US-Canada-Mexico trade deal. The clause binds the signing countries to shun non-market economies like China. Article 30 specifies that if one of the current North American free trade agreement, the NAFTA partners, sign a free trade deal with a non-market economy such as China, the other NAFTA partners can quit in six months and form their own bilateral trade pacts. Once the UK signs the trade deal with a similar Article 30, the USA would drive the UK's foreign and trade policy away from China and that is what British diplomats are worried about. The report by The Guardian reads, The proposed clause is based on Article 30 of the US-Mexico-Canada agreement that locks out non-market economies. Although the UK does not formally oppose such clauses, British diplomats are worried that in the current context, it would give the USA extensive and unbalanced leverage over UK's policy towards China. Given the fact that the UK was among the first countries to deal with Huawei to roll out 5G, dumping contracts would practically end China-UK relations, and the US wants exactly that. Through this free trade deal, the US also wants to show the European Union that after Brexit, it is Washington and not Brussels that would set the agenda for the UK. EU is still willing to cooperate with China as it helped Beijing to get entry into the alternative appellate body for trade resolution within the WTO, to which the US is not part of. Britain's Foreign Minister Dominic Raab has already stated, no more business as usual with China. Moreover. Members of Boris Johnson's Conservative Party have already demanded that the country needs to cancel the deal with Huawei and demand repatriation of £350 billion from China for damaging the UK's economy with the coronavirus pandemic. Given the special relationship the UK enjoys with the United States, which every president including Donald Trump affirms, it is no rocket science to predict which way the British government would go this time. The two nations have very deep economic ties. The US is the largest trading partner of the United Kingdom, with bilateral trade amounting to $261.9 billion in 2018, or 10% of the UK's GDP. Exports to the US were $140.4 billion, while imports were $121.5 billion, resulting in a trade surplus of $19 billion for the United Kingdom. Also, the UK is the single largest investor in the US, with an investment of about $540 billion, while the US's total investment in the UK is $750 billion, or 12% of its total FDI. 
Historically, the UK and the US had been allies at least since American independence. Most influential families of the US trace their roots to the UK, and the northeastern part of the United States is also known as New England. Both countries have coordinated in almost every foreign policy matter historically, including in American wars in the Middle East. Therefore, for the UK, making a choice between America and China should not be very tough.